It's all it's right all to right. be just, just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just, just the right vibration. vibration. With, that With that in mind, you should understand, should understand God's, God's completely God's insane. insane. <laughs>
then uh, from there it turned into a little bit of a media blitz. We had uh, a lot of uh, secondary uh, underground media, so to speak, come in and that we were broadcasting the uh, conversation. We had a lot of concerned citizens show up, uh, a lot of volunteers offering services, money, whatever they could to kind of help out with the Bundy Ranch cause. And, uh, you know, it's just blown up quite a bit. Nobody really expected it to go there. It's uh, been super exciting. Um, you know, we're looking forward to continuing this uh, on to further uh, important uh, issues going on across America. Even Bundy himself said all this is bigger than he is. It's not about him. It's just about, you know, our freedoms and, you know, how, how government's been overstepping um, its bounds and... The whole focus has kind of been a more of a peaceful resolution, uh, revolution of consciousness. I mean, I know there's some people who understandably want to, you know, go all battle rattle balls to the walls out in the blaze of glory because they they've just been so, you know, screwed with all their lives. But you know, um, like like Einstein said, um, you can't uh, solve a, a problem, you know, uh, using the same thinking that created it. And um, a lot of these guys, you know, they they quote history like, oh, well, this is the way this has always been done in history. Well. Let's look at Einstein's definition of insanity. Um, if you always do what you've always done, expecting the same results each time, or expecting different results each time, but you're getting the same, then, you know, that's why Mark Twain also said history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. So it's like these guys are like, well, that's the way we've always done it. It's like, well, gee, let's look at history. How well has that fucking worked? You know? So if you want to set yourself up for the same failures, go right ahead. But if you actually want to succeed, it's, it's time to do some of that new thinking, this you know, that I understand what's talking about. anything I've seen in my lifetime as far as that many groups getting together uh, to support something, you know, is so important. I mean, we've drawn so many lines in the sand, whether it's the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, uh, legal searches and seizures, you name it. We, we're, we've drawn lines in the sand numerous times. Yeah. And it was nice to just see so many good people compiled. To it's phenomenal. I, I mean, I've been seeing religious people, truthers, active military, ex-military, police officers, um, people within governmental structures, the Bundy family themselves, even Anonymous chimed in a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen so many people come into one place so quickly, and it's all synchronistic. None of this was planned. I mean, I, I was in the Cosmic Voice Facebook group when um, uh, Cosmic Candy uh, posted up, you know, the number and everything, and, you know, I started listening. I'm like, shit, well, you know, I know I got a hodgepodge set up here with the Skype, and it's kind of crappy, but, um, you know, I got I got to chime in, and I got to stream this, and I don't know if anybody's putting it out on the internet or what their plans are, if they're recording it, but... You know, this kind of shit needs to be heard. So I just kind of jumped in, and you know, that's how you would, that's how you and I met. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, not everybody's been able to stay on or chime in, you know, through uh, through their phone. If you run out of minutes or signal or whatever, but yeah, you're rebroadcasting it on YouTube has definitely brought <coughs> more uh, people to the table. We uh, we announce the number as often as we remember to. So yeah. If they're hearing it on the stream, they can still call in and participate when they can. <coughs> but um, it's great that you're here in person too, because ultimately I wanna hook you up with a system to where you could do the YouTube streaming yourself and you know it's done in such a way to it's a solid hardware connection not this bullshit job that I've been yeah, doing Spreaker yesterday it was all right it was uh, you know it's it, it's worked for its time um, we're definitely planning on evolving into different things we want to get into more uh, video more man on the street type things more episodes that we can put together um, as of right now we're still leaving the conference call up and running so that they can still use it mm. as a communications source or uh, yeah. to give people the, the, the daily gist of what's going on out there but uh, the conversation is definitely involved in a lot of other things going on in the country and we're uh, a little bit worried I guess you could say about American Spring you know the same potential should hit the fan uh, straw that broke the camel's back situation is right around the corner so we're definitely trying to utilize what tools and the kind of people that we put together thus far to hopefully uh, help out, you know, resolve uh, a yeah. potentially violent situation and hopefully keep it as peaceful as possible. And we're going to be having the uh, administrators from American Spring on the calls real soon by next weekend, I'm hoping, um, just to kind of get an idea of what they want, what they yeah. plan on doing. I know Bundy was supposed to chime in yesterday, but something came up. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We, we, uh, we keep getting people that are saying, yeah, we'll be on the call. But uh, as of thus far, we've had... Uh, head of security and then three hands down throughout the security and a lot of boots on the ground calling but uh i talked to bailey briefly um luckily said the week before last um unfortunately her kid was sick at the time so she couldn't fully get on she was right next to someone who was on the call with us but yet couldn't speak up she was watching off her baby so i couldn't blame her for that it's been yeah. kind of hectic down there so we're doing the best we can to kind of get uh you know 
up-to-date actual boots on the ground to the source type information and uh, been really successful at that so yeah. far. One thing I like about this is primarily um, community conference calls is just an open free speech forum and nothing more really. I mean, we're not trying to tell anyone what is or isn't true. We're not trying to tell anyone they should or shouldn't think that or they should or shouldn't do that, you know. It's just a place for people to come together because that's what America's been been missing for the last few decades. That whole idea of just coming together and putting information out on the table and just kind of cooperating and, and respecting each other's rights to disagree and differences and all that. Instead of a lot of this ego that you see online where that's my main problem with truth movements, spiritual movements, things like that. They all got a little piece of the puzzle and they don't realize it. They think that the whole picture because the educational system teaches us to compartmentalize, so then they all fight. You know, 9/11 is a good example. No, it, it wasn't uh, commercial planes. It was FEMA planes. No, there was no planes. It was CGI inserts. No, it was Project Blue Beam. No, it was a missile. It's like you know what? We all agree that it was an inside job. So why don't we just? Stop wasting time figuring out exactly how the crime was committed and form some citizens' grand juries and go grab these people and arrest them and put them in a cell and, you know, bring them up in front of Nuremberg Part 2 and then we can finally see exactly who did what and, you know, whatever. Because in the meantime, all it is is a distraction. It's like we're bickering and bitching and all this. It's like, you know what? How did it happen? All of the above. It's a cake. You got all these right. different agreements. Now shut up and, and form a citizen's grand jury. Sure, sure. And, and that's kind of, uh, you know, the gist of what we pulled together. This is almost a, a citizen's grand jury because there's so many citizens from all across that have, you know, come together to, to dissuade bad intel, to dissuade bad information. We've had so many people call, oh my God, Alex Jones just said there's shots fired, shots fired at the Bunny Ranch. Meanwhile, we actually have three people that are there, boots on the ground. No, man, there's no shots fired. So, yeah. you know, trying to avoid bad information yeah. has been huge for us and battling that. You know, people are so apt to put out uh, bad intel just to kind of escalate the situation. Yeah. We've been really pushing hard to avoid that. Yeah. I mean, I just want to say, you know, for people who hate Alex Jones or hate Peter Santilli or any of these people and saying they're COINTELPRO or whatever, it's like, I just want to say that, look, I highly doubt they're COINTELPRO and whatever. It's just, you know, they're good people with huge egos, and sometimes their brain gets put in the off position, and they're so kind of caught up in the moment that, you know, they kind of kind of trip over their own feet and one lands in their mouth. You know, that doesn't mean they're a Illuminati plant or whatever. I mean, I see so many ad hominems, all these different groups fighting. Oh, your group is a PSYOP! No, your group is a PSYOP! You know, just shut the fuck up and get along. You know, you don't have to agree with each other. You could think each other's a bunch of assholes. That doesn't mean that you still can't work with each other. And that's kind of what we put together. There's so many researchers that have, uh, you know, come forward when we're finding bad information. So many other people have other connections to other groups or other sources that they've been pulling them in on the call just so we can get, you know, expert opinions on things and, uh, it's been a huge help, man. A lot of volunteers, a lot of good patriots have come forward, and it's just been, uh, yeah. it's, it's been, a, it's been a crazy ride, man. We've had lots of ups and downs, laughs, um, you know, some emotional uh, struggles throughout, but uh, you know, it turned out to be a great thing, and we're, we're de definitely uh, holding strong to turn it into something, uh, you know, a little bit stronger than what it is right now. It just all happened on a fluke, so uh, yeah. everybody's excited to see where it's going to go. We're not really positive where it's going to go as of yet, but. Uh, Definitely want to continue with what we've been doing and uh, you know move on to more uh, other important subjects that are also happening uh, across the country, like we mentioned, American Spring and um, you know and anything that really arises, we'll cover it and do our best to uh, you know try to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, you know, half the people that you know I work with on things from time to time, it's like you know they 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 think I have a big mouth, they don't like me, they think I'm an asshole, but you know we can put that aside. And we could work together on common ground because, you know, we're, we're all just trying to do the, the best we can with things. And yeah, yeah and, you know, just because someone has uh, different personalities doesn't mean they got to be enemies. I mean, you know, we can't all get along. Peace isn't singing around a campfire, kumbaya, and everybody agreeing on, with everything. Peace is respecting someone's right to walk up and say, go fuck yourself and walk away from you without it turning into a contest of ego like oh oh you're talking shit motherfucker come on fight me fight me you know that's what creates conflict that whole ego thing you know someone's perspective is they think you're a dick well cool more power to them 
You know, that's the freedom we're fighting for. Not the political correctness of, well, it's freedom unless I disagree. You know. Said before I might not agree with you what, what you just said or you know what you're saying, but I will you know fight for your right to say it exactly. And uh, you know we definitely had some people on the calls that I'm not agreed with. And, oh, uh, totally. We let them speak their mind, you know, and, and, and everybody's been really respectful for the most part in that cause. You know, 99 percent of the people there kind of get the gist of what we're trying to do, and they definitely support it, whether or not they fully agree on what I or anybody else might say. They still get the gist of what we are trying yeah. to do. With it. I like how the American flag's flying in the background. There. There. That's great. That's great. Got an American flag right there. Nice. But um, yeah, uh, we just look forward to you know bringing in more people and uh, you know taking it to the new level and uh, hopefully we can uh, continue to prevent bad situations and uh, de-escalate you know bad intel and bad information and uh, just kind of keep doing what we're doing. We've uh, coordinated lots of supply lines for the Bunny Ranch. Um, quite a few truck loads and shipments have ended up there. Um, <coughs> due to uh, you know all of our volunteers putting their heads together, <coughs> and um, you know we've, we've had all kinds of things being sent to them as far as their, their necessities. So uh, that's been really successful as well. They're, they they you know showed their thing their thing <coughs> quite a few times. And you know for those people out there who understand more of the esoterics, I just love all the synchronicity that's that's been around this and how it's formed. I mean, even with today, you know yesterday Brian just like hey let's hang out tomorrow. And it's like okay so. You know, now it's tomorrow, and gee, let's see, what is it, a year to the day, or almost a year to the day, that, you know, the last time I was at the Burgundy, and I was there with my best friend Katarina, and now she's in Costa Rica, and then um, my friend Rochelle, it's her birthday today, and then not only that, Brian wasn't even paying attention to where he sat down, and, and, and right behind him was all these plaques on the wall, very simple, that were totally expressing accurately the purpose that he's envisioning, that he's aligned with that you know that that be inspired and be a dreamer and take action and you know you know be the change and there's these plaques right up in the wall behind him none of the other plaques in the restaurant say that but he sat down without even realizing it right next to that so yeah so it's like coincidence is actually pronounced coincidence two things which coincide but we don't necessarily see the connection so this whole thing has been loaded with synchronicity and that's just a reflection to me, like the universe is saying, "Hey, you know, you're, you know, you're aligned with this. You're, you're on, you're on track." That's true. The uh, second night that we uh, had the conference calls, um, we had well over 27, 2,600 ish people show up on that call. Yeah, they didn't stay on the whole time, but twenty six into one hundred independent numbers chimed in. We had between two and four hundred at any given time at once. Yeah, the total the, was in excess of two thousand. Yeah. I was just like, holy yeah. shit! At the highest peak it was around four hundred all in at the same time. But um, you know, we, we had gone through a point where like, you know, we need to pray. We need to pray that tomorrow we wake up, the sheriff brings his ass over to the Pundy Ranch and kicks out the BLM. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, gets them out of the picture and there's a peaceful resolution. Well. We slept on that, and you know, five hours later, they met at the uh, flag post that morning. Um, I slept through that part, yeah. but when I did get to uh, see the clips, there it was. The sheriff was right there. You know, I find it funny uh, that the there, uh, they got their uh, cows back that very next morning. I find it funny that the druids called in and said that they're sacrificing twenty goats to uh, for for Bundy, and then the next day the headlines are BLM stands down. I'm like, man, those are some damn good goats. Shit, yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> Where yeah. can I get me some of them goats? We did have a heckler slash prank caller call in. And that, that was funny. It, it was good comedy relief. We needed that because it was a very stressful uh, few hours at that point. And, uh, yeah. and for them to kind of chime in, it definitely added some comic relief yeah. to the call. And we don't mind that one so much. <laughs> yeah. trying to keep the subject focused. But. On the community conference page on Facebook in the About section, I write at the bottom, you know, in our thanks to the druids. <laughs> I don't see that yet. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, I, I put that up there like first thing. It's it's right at the bottom. It's this little thing at the bottom. It's like yeah, thanks to the druids, you know. <laughs> but yeah, they did call in and chimed in that they'd be sacrificing one goat for every cow that passed away. So <laughs> that was awkward. But okay, so be it. <laughs> that was hilarious. I love that. I was yeah. Like wow. Yeah, it was a, basically a prank, but it was alright. You know, it, it helped alleviate some of the stress that was going on. Nah, no kidding. And you know, I I'll do the occasional like Kermit the Frog and whatever and. I was having people laughing last night because Barbie was doing her, her little 
announcements as far as, you know, call conduct and, you know, it's, it, it, she said she sounded like a phone operator, sort of a voice explaining things. So after she was done, I would go, only three ninety nine per minute, yeah, adults yeah. only. And everybody would just bust out laughing. <laughs> yeah, and she's definitely got a good voice. She's great at what she's done. She's been in an awesome volunteer. Again, there's been so many people that just came forward as you know, as we're asking questions. I didn't have a lot of time to do research, handle the call, moderate the call, <laughs> handle the switchboard, you know, de deflect bad intel, etc. But, you know, as we're asking questions as they come up, there was like five or six people that were doing the research as we're talking. So, you know, all I had to do was kind of watch messages and just see, oh, well, that question's just been answered. Here's a sourceful, you know, uh, source of information towards that subject. And it's been nice to have all these different people volunteering to help out. So um, whether or not, you know, they were active warriors, quote unquote, that made it to the Bundy Ranch, there was definitely a lot of keyboard warriors that uh, that came forward and, you know, showed their use as well. So it's been awesome. It's been a blessing. I've made tons of new friends. Uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of good <coughs> Yeah, people, same here. A lot of good people in all of our corners now working together. And uh, we're just going to continue to keep doing as we are. And uh, hopefully we have the same effect on the next subject, which is uh, American Spring. Yeah, and last night we had Blaine Cooper on, that guy who handed um, uh, McCain's ass to him, and we had Chuck Smith show up, and, you know, it was, it was, it was fun. It was really fun. I, I didn't even hear about that McCain video. I, I watched that today, and I was laughing. I was only a little little appalled at um, McCain's uh, hubris and arrogance. He's like, well, that charge is beneath me. And I post a little blog thing on it. I got it up on the community conference call yeah, site too. Uh, Wayne Dupree offered his uh, his base and his uh, his reach. He came in, chimed in for a while, and uh, invited all of his fans, which were over. I think he's at half a million right now. Fans, um, a lot of them started chiming in and offering their support. He's been rebroadcasting the calls for us, so it was nice to see a lot of people kind of broke down ego as well, and you know yeah. saw that this is a good cause and they want to assist however they can. Um, it was nice to have this rebroadcasted all over the place and uh, you know, wake up more people as we go so they can get direct intel information from yeah. boots on the ground. That's what's been important. Yeah. I've lost track of how many new friends have like kind of come up to come up to me because of the conference call, and you know, a lot of them even specifically said, "Dave, thank God for your big mouth because you woke me up. You know, you kind of shook me out of my you complacency." Some great yeah, because I don't, you know, I, I'm not walking on eggshells with people. I'm just gonna be like, "Look, this is what I feel." If you want to think I'm, I'm a prick for saying it, all right, cool. You know, that's your, I'll, I'll, you're right. I'll keep the leash on you. You, yeah. have, you haven't really gotten that far out of pocket <laughs> times, but you know, your, your, your input's always, always, always nice to have. Um, you know, I just try to kind of keep the subject along the lines yeah. when we evade that topic. I uh, you know, have to move on or interrupt people on occasion yeah. just to kind of keep it smooth. We yeah. try to, uh, to PC it up a little bit and take away the four-letter words just so more people will stay on. And we don't offend anybody, even though, you know, it's neither here nor there. It's just we'd like to be able to keep some of the uh, people on that would rather not hear four-letter words. So try yeah. to clean it up a little bit. Keep it to a minimum. Yeah. A little here, a little there, but not constant. Exactly. A lot of truckers in the room, so if we can all kind of watch our watch our verbiage, it would help. Watch our P's and Q's before yeah. Obama drone strikes your eye. <laughs> Sound like that. Speaking of Obama drones, uh, you know, we were on the phone with boots on the ground while the bad intel is going out about drone strikes, drone strikes. They're coming for blah, blah, blah. You know, just... You guys gotta kind of focus. Don't believe the hype. Yeah. yeah. Don't believe the hype. The media. Is well, Chuck. Right. Well, I was talking to Chuck Smith. Um, Chuck Smith says he's got a source, but his source admits that it's only highly probable, not like a hundred percent fact. And I replied with my opinion on that, and I, I just said, "Look, here's the way I see it: the more people who show up at the Bundy Ranch, the less of a chance there is for that type of strike." But if everybody just bails out on, on Bundy, then you're practically guaranteeing that there's going to be a strike of some sort. So for people who are wondering whether or not there's a drone strike, the more people who are there know. Because uh, the globalists are pussies. That's, uh, that's the simplest, easiest way of saying it. They, you know, It's like the shark ain't going to take on a whale. They're going to take on tuna. So for as long as we're that whale... They're not gonna. They're not gonna escalate any situation that they can't control. They are control freaks. They have to feel they have to be in total control of the situation. Otherwise, they don't even want to go there. So I try not to focus too much on the fact that there could be a drone trick. Just due to the fact that there hasn't been one yet. Yeah. The more we talk about it, the more it's going to intimidate the conversation. 
it, if, if it happens, then we can move forward and talk about, holy shit, guess what just happened? Yeah. We can't really avoid that situation. There's nothing we can do to avoid it. Yeah. I doubt, personally, it's going to happen, but, you know, I, I, I just, yeah. not one for, uh, for opening that Pandora's box unless it's actually... Me. Yeah. I mean, for like I said, for me, it's simple. As long as more and more people continue to show support, I think it's not going to happen. But if everybody drops off and bails out on the Bundys, that's why there was this, oh, he's a racist smear campaign. You know, that that was such crap. You know, go look at the original audio. Sure. A lot but, of people are looking to uh, kind of demean the whole situation and make us look like, uh, yeah. you know, rebels or... Yeah, blah, 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 blah whatever, yeah. It, that, you know, I've got more than a week's worth of food. I'm a domestic terrorist. Just added incentive to, uh, you know, to negate that and, and prove that, you know, this yeah. has been a peaceful situation. There's definitely mixed races out there, but of course the media is not going to show that. And there's no sign of, you know, prejudice or anything like that. There's no KKK out there. You can't really correlate militia with uh, racists anymore. It's just not going to happen. They're, they're not one of the yeah. same whatsoever. Well, the KKK couldn't show up because they're all running Congress. What can I say? Got a point there. <laughs> they wouldn't well, be yeah, showing up. definitely sick of race baiters, man. We're not even willing to kind of feed or entertain those... Uh, those yeah. conversations much further, especially yeah. in the call. Reminds me of that picture of the stormtrooper, like, you know, from Star Wars. He's he's sitting at a table, he's all depressed, and it's like, I know that Darth Vader's a criminal, a tyrannical criminal, but I'm afraid to say anything cause, because the whole uh, Empire will think that, you know, I'm prejudiced against black people. <laughs> sure, that's how a lot of the police state feels right now. They're in a crunch. I mean, we've talked to plenty of uh, civilians and retired officers, and again, you know, active duties and, and, and recently retired or recently out. And, uh, you know, everybody sees the big picture more than they give us credit for. I mean, we've yeah. seen every branch, every aspect of humanity, for the yeah. most part, even different races, creeds, and kinds yeah. come forward. And we realize that not yeah. many people believe the, the mainstream. It's just inspiring people to take action. And pe people don't realize it only takes a spark to get a fire going. They don't have to be the whole fire. So they don't have to be a multi-millionaire with no tons of people and tons of resources. A tiny little little pebble in the center of the pond sets off a wave of ripples all you have to do is be pebble. yeah be the pebble it's like gonna be you could be a a teenage girl or an 80 year old man or or you could be a, a genius or not not know much about anything it doesn't matter all you got to do is be that little pebble strike that makes the ripples and inspires other people that's it anybody can do that this little pebble has definitely become much of a tidal wave <laughs> We definitely look forward to kind of keeping it going. We definitely want to kick it up a notch here, too, in the next couple of weeks. We're yeah, just, uh, totally. Working out some of those technical things right now. Yep. Yeah. I love the fact that he's local because it's easier to get things like hardware and stuff to him when he's, you know, down the street here. And, you know, if he was in, like, you know, uh, Washington State or something, I would have been, it'd be really hard. But I can deal with him directly so I could help him out on the on the technical stuff, on the hardware and software and stuff because he's right here. I, I don't got far to go and neither does he so big props to you Dave for helping out we all appreciate you man yeah. but yeah it, just, it makes things easier it really does it all works out yep synchronicity god universe the Tao, all that whatever whatever the hell you want to call it words or just words it's just all coming together as it should whatever you want to use to explain it spiritual religious whatever it's quantum physics you know things are coming together and I don't believe in coincidence. I only believe in coincidence. Now is our time. Yep. So, uh, this video is already 24 minutes, going on 25. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to make sure that you really want to say before this cuts off? Um, you know, I, I don't really consider myself, you know, a big leader or anything. A lot of people have kind of thrust me into that position. Again, I was just some guy that started off on a conference call that happened to, uh, you know, work well with a lot of other people and maintain the conversation and, uh, you know, we set up all kinds of different comms lines as people were chiming in, uh, other professions and other skill sets that we kind of yeah. categorized and let people, you know, move forward with what they're good at and, and, and contribute to the uh, call and the cause. And uh, He's not the Brian from Monty Python. Don't treat him like that. I'm happy to, you know, <laughs> to, to try to motivate other people to also become leaders. We told people, hey, we're just some guys on a conference call. Don't be afraid to start this off in your own state. Don't yeah. Don't be afraid to start yeah. off a grand jury. Don't be afraid to get a hold of your local sheriffs. Don't be afraid to get a hold of local politicians and set them straight. Yeah, People yeah. People are going to do that because nobody else is going to do it for you. I look at it this way. If humans create humans, deer create deer, frogs create frogs, chicken create chickens, then how do leaders create followers? They don't. Only followers create followers. 
Leaders create more leaders. So the first responsibility of a leader is to get their followers to stop following. That's right. Grab the bull by the horns and let them know. We're not really going to be taking this for much longer. And uh, whatever we can do, you know, to push this all in the favor of the American people, that's what it's really all about. Yeah. No, no, no more, no more, no more tyranny. We've got to kind of pull them out of the uh, positions that they hold before it's too late for America. And uh, now is definitely that time. Yeah. And all peaceful and all with very subtle actions. I mean, even doing something, just you know, even even just being, a, you don't have to go talk about conspiracy theories or whatever. Be, just being a little, a little nicer to your neighbors, or just. Being nice to people who are shitty to you, I don't mean like kissing their ass or letting them walk on you, but like, instead of saying, you know, fuck you, when they say something, smile and say thank you for your opinion, I respect That's your right to, to say it. People out of that uh, downward spiral dogma that this country has been pushed into thus far, whatever we can do to kind of alleviate that and totally. get back to the, you know, the people ruling, the people are the ruling class, that's what it should be. Independent sovereigns ruling themselves who are able to cooperate then with other independent sovereigns. Because with this follower crap, it's like it's like trying to get, um, you know, kindergartners to rebuild the Trade Center. People always talk about overthrowing the government, but it's like, okay, what then? You're still programmed into their subservient, you know, matrix. So in definitely other groups uh, working on restoring the Republic um, as we move forward. So it's going to be kind of nice as things move forward. Hopefully uh, some things are achieved at American Spring, and there's already a lot of good qualified people standing in line to kind of uh, retake the Republic and pull us out of this corporatocracy that we're in. I look yeah. forward to seeing, uh, some of them have actually chimed in, chimed in on the calls as well, but it, I look forward to seeing some of their leadership get involved with us and see what they need, what we can do to help. Uh, so, as long as everything's, uh, you know, lawful, uh, I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, and I know this has nothing to do with the video, but it's not good to put that in there because that'll, that we got burnables in there and that, I yeah, I'll, I'll hose it down, uh, yeah, you got to make sure you you put it out completely before you put it in there. We don't we don't want a bonfire starting itself. <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, it's 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 been a a great thing. I, it turned from something so small and it's uh, you know grown so much, and it's just I'm I'm thankful for it. And uh, it's definitely opened my eyes. I'm excited to see that there's I'm not the only one, and a lot of people have responded the same way. Wow, I thought I was the only guy awake out here. You know, I thought my group was the only awake one. So it was great to see all these administrators from so many groups and. Uh, you know, their fan base and, and their movers and shakers just all get together uh, for this cause, and it's been a blessing. We've needed to bring groups together, and that's been the the Achilles' heel up until this point. As all these groups are just filled with so much ego, my way is right, and now these groups are start starting to come together and coordinate while respecting each other's sovereignty and equality, not trying to d dominate each other, but rather just sharing information. We've been trying to focus on our similarities as opposed to our differences, and that's going to be a huge step for mankind for more people the sleeping giant has woken up so hey obama globalists whoever else is watching it doesn't matter who you kill there's no there's no head on the body anymore it's decentralized like they said on the movie inception um an idea is the most powerful thing and once it takes hold and it sticks you can't stop it so it, do, it doesn't matter who you drone strike. You could kill me, you could kill Brian, you could kill Chuck Smith. You could kill, you know, half the people in here. No, no, people. Yeah, no matter how many, the idea has taken hold in the consciousness. Like big new uh, Brzezinski said, you know, that cat's out of the bag. Your domination shit is no longer possible. His words, not mine. The tide is turning. The sleeping giant is waking up, and it's a peaceful revolution of the mind, and that scares the shit out of them more than anything. If you're violent, they know exactly how to deal with you. If you're peaceful, you scare them. That's kind of where we're going with the whole American yeah. Spring. It looks like they're trying to provoke a, a violent end of the shit hitting the fan, so to speak, and we're going to do everything in our power to avoid yeah. that. That's why Gandhi was killed. He understood the power of nonviolence. That doesn't mean don't defend yourself if you're attacked. It just means don't start a battle. Right. Always finish a fight, but do not start one. No way. Let them make the first move if they're going to make it. Because if you do it that way, then chances are they're not going to make the first move because they're cowards. Also, you're not. Cowards, totally. All right. Good video for 25 minutes. Yeah, pretty good. So uh, everybody keep uh, watching Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy and check out uh, community conference calls on Facebook. We also got the community conference called Archive, also a Facebook page, second page. So you could find other world news and stuff and the links to the archives and stuff in there. So uh, 
we'll we'll see you on the calls. We'll we'll see you online. And uh, remember, be the change you want to create in the world. Otherwise, you're doing Einstein's definition of insanity, and we're we're tired of that. Free the people. Yep. Later. There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record them. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden, hi, 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 hi.